Hey everybody, Alex Terrace here, Health Hacks Reviewed. This video is gonna be about how you, gotta watch my words here, how you can improve uh, the healing potential of certain types of eye conditions. And I'm not gonna name any specific ones. So just gotta watch out you know, for the FDA, now, FDA nowadays. Guys, uh, I'm gonna start doing more of these videos, um, these different protocols, to just show you all the different modalities I'm involved in. I ha almost have not enough time to even get all my research and content on my website. There's so much more, my, my website's so old school, it's missing so much stuff. I do, haven't even organized my playlist on my YouTube. I mean, it's pathetic. But I, have, I work 10 hours a week, seven days a week, consulting with people, consulting with wellness clinics on what they should include. So if you're looking for a type of modality, I've probably already looked into it. I have aligned myself with 50 different companies that are the best in different categories of therapies, protocols, medical devices, and just reach out if you have a question, you have a specific set of needs, and I can advise you in that. I don't charge anything for my consultation. I recoup all my time actually selling some of these devices as well. Um, all right, so how do you improve a wide variety of eye conditions? So all I can tell you is there's definitely some eye conditions out there that some in the mainstream medicine world will say, that's not reversible, or I have this disease, or I have this condition, and it's genetic, and genes can't change. Even though epigenetics, which we've known about for a long time, will tell you, yes, you can change genetic conditions. We've known this for at least 25 years. So look up the science that you may not realize is already there showing you can reverse different genetic conditions. All right, so um, this is a PEMF device, uh, pulse electromagnetic frequency. If you don't know what that is, Google pulse electromagnetic frequency therapy. It's been around 100 years, heavily researched 50 years. Russia spent almost a billion dollars researching it. Is there a lot of research on it? Yes. Um, officially in English, there's maybe 10,000 studies. There's a lot more in other languages. This company, Almagia, uh, is a well-known company. They're in Russia, so they've actually distilled a lot of the Russian research into their devices. That's why all their devices work well, period. All of their devices work well. Their restock or re return rate for all their models is like 1% to 4%, depending. They almost always work. It's, it just blows my mind. Um, anyway, so this is, to my knowledge, the only home-used PEMF device available. This has been used in Europe, though, a long time in doctor's offices, clinics. So here we are. It's like, wow, anybody can buy this, you know, for home use. Way cool. Uh, here's the manual, by the way, if you want to check it out. Uh, it's $24.99. Uh, it does have a, a return period of, I think, 14 days, something like that. Anyways, it's designed, it's designed for eye diseases, ENT organs, neurological, traumatic head injuries that affect eyes. Um, so many different things, uh, 42 different programs, but not complicated to use. Uh, short treatment times per day. Uh, within two weeks, you should be able to see a difference, pun intended. Uh, and if you really don't, I mean, send it back. But And you can always check with me, by the way. Say, I have this eye condition. Do you think it could help? And obviously, I'll, I'll give you my opinion before you even throw out that money. Uh, you may not need this particular device, but and all these things I'm going to show you are synergistic. So if you're a wellness clinic and you really want to, and you're an ophthalmologist and you want to get the best therapeutic outcomes, throw everything at it. Usually, it's always the same story. Try to stretch your budget with multiple modalities. Hit it from several angles. That's when you always get the best results. But some of these modalities I'm showing you are still some of the best. One to five, one to five percent, uh, amazing standalone therapies in their own right. Combine them, even better. All right, so this is scan R therapy. Also, guess where this is developed? Russia. So they've been researching this for 30 years. They're still researching it. So when you start to look at modalities and stuff, you don't find a lot of things where it's like decades of research. You just don't. Uh, so, scan, so this is one of my distributors I work with. He works harder than I do, <laughs> which is hard to believe, but it's true. He, he really does work harder than me. It's, uh, it's a little ridiculous. Um, but so. Basically, um, I do, again, I sell these as well. He does lifetime training. Every week he's doing training. So there's an attachment for this $600 device. It's 600, money back guarantee on 30 days. If you're not seeing results even within that period of time, don't keep it because it works fast. You can treat a thousand conditions. Oh, I use the word treat. <laughs> it may help a thousand conditions uh, according to all the studies and research. Uh, but uh, so basically, what, what might this theoretically help with? even though everybody talking about this is not a doctor except for in Russia. So here's the list right here. <laughs> so blame the Russians, you know what I mean, if the FDA wants to take an issue with this. 
so yeah, no, these are all the conditions, heavily studied, uh, well over 2 million people using it, lots of people using it for these eye conditions. When you start to look at what is the root cause, what's causing these on a cellular level, it's like glaucoma, okay, or cataracts, what's happening on a cellular level? Start Googling around. And then you say, oh, this happens to the cell. This, you know, have an obstruction in, in blood flow. You have a buildup in dead cells in this area. You have some excess inflammation, right? Maybe some degeneration. Maybe the nerve impulses through the eye is not as strong as it used to be. Maybe it's more of a brain issue. You always come back to pretty simple understandings of what's getting impaired. Then it's simply, oh, well, what modalities, what research, what therapies address that specific level of the cell? This is not rocket science. It just takes you hundreds to thousands of hours to actually distill down what are those modalities, which is what I've done over the last 15 years. So it really does work amazing. So it's hands-free, which is also great. You can sit here at your computer, sleeping, uh, whatever, watching TV, doing productive things, reading books, studying, watching my amazing videos. And you can be wearing this. Uh, or if you're at a doctor's office or you're a practitioner, hey, put this on your patient. Say, I'll see you in 15. Go do something else or do a different modality on them at the same time. Pretty cool to have some hands free. Um, so when you learn, so then it's like, okay, well, how does this work? Uh, you just go into, uh, you click on some of these links over here. You'll see more articles where he explains. Also in the link below this video, I'll, I'll link you to another really good article that gets into how it opens up the two-way flow communication between the cells in your eye and those regions in the brain and neuropeptides and the communication is set up. And that's how there's like more of a dialogue in what needs to happen to those tissues to heal actually takes place. It's fascinating how this actually works. It's microcurrent therapy, but with specific frequency modulation that they have found through countless hours of research seem to be the frequencies that work the best for the widest amount of conditions where the nervous system is communicating to the brain, the immune system, uh, to affect some sort of therapeutic change, basically, in a nutshell. So it's not like random frequencies and, oh yeah, 77 hertz, well, I'm sure that works. No, it's like they've spent a god amount of money and time figuring that out. So all the science is there. It's just like you might not have known about it. That's all. And now you know. So scanars, there's so much. I still have more scanar videos to do. I haven't even done. It's like I, I just have too much to do. I'm hiring assistant, hopefully this year, so I don't go crazy. Uh, and then uh, this is pulsed electromagnetic frequency. So different than scanar. Scanar, remember, is sending more like actual current. Okay, an actual DC current. Uh, and then you also have like AC currents out there too, but that's more like current going in an area uh, at micro levels, micro voltage, right? Milliamps, things like that. And this is pulsed electromagnetic frequency. That's different. Uh, and that is more in line with this. This is also pulsed electromagnetic frequency. Okay, so this company, QRS, was one of the more original companies to do a full body, full systemic system. They have the most research currently to date on their specific brand. So not just general PEMF research that a lot of companies will reference, but specific patents and research on their specific device. All right, so they have an attachment. They're, I think they're the only ones maybe there's one somewhere in Europe or something, but anyways, one of the first to have PEMF eye goggle attachments, accessories that you can wear for, guess what, brain and eye conditions. A wide, has, so it has wide efficacy for a lot of conditions in the eyes. Um, there's the price, $25.95, and then you have to attach it to, it's not a standalone now, don't get too excited about the price, uh, it, it actually attaches to the full system over here, which is $39.95 um, and you get a six month return period. So if you're just like, gosh, you know, I've been using this two, three months, I haven't really seen any difference, another bad pun, uh, then you can send it back and then you get hit with like 200, 250 bucks. Ooh, wow, that's a big financial risk. You know, if you can't afford 250 bucks, well, then you couldn't really afford this device, but you know what I'm saying? Like it's a very low financial risk to try an amazing system. Uh, what do I have to say about these goggles, by the way, um, is they pair really well. If you use those and you're taking other good nutrients for the eye or an oxygen type of therapy, maybe hyperbaric, or you're doing another type of modality, um, it's great as a pre-treat, you're not supposed to use that word. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's good to use before other types of modalities. Um, by the way, some people were saying like, what about the IMRS? They have goggles and glasses and, well, first off, IMRS, was one of the more original companies to try to copy the QRS. And they failed, you know why? Because QRS was smart enough 
and from a business perspective too, to patent the hell out of their technology. They have more patents than anybody, and international. So them and other companies have had a pretty hard time infringing on those patents, especially because QRS has no problem serving out 57 lawsuits to protect those patents. So it's like, oh gosh, well, they kind of beat us to some of the most therapeutic frequencies that work really well. I guess we're going to have to find another way around this. And it's like, well, gosh, to try to find a way around that without referencing some of the best research information and putting all that money into research, no other companies really did well going around the patents because it was so costly to do so. So they could only work with very minimal research to not infringe on those patents. So basically, there probably would have been more therapeutic uh, technologies is kind of the funny part if they didn't do so many patents. So maybe it wasn't a good thing after all. Um, but that's just at least now you know the truth and the reality of the situation. Um, is So that's why they do get really good efficacy with this one and they they do have all the patents. So why was I talking about IMRS also is because they have glasses. But guess what? <laughs> They're not PEMF glasses. Just to show you <laughs> that they try to copy QRS. It's like, oh, look, we have the glasses too. And it's like, no, you don't. Uh, those are not PEMF glasses. They might be changing brainwave frequencies when that's been around a long time, just flashing different light pulses. You can look up photosonic goggles, for example. And there's all kinds of light pulsing brainwave entrainment. Uh, and, and that's cool stuff. But it's just for shifting your brainwave state. It has nothing to do therapeutically and technologically with pulsing electromagnetic waves. Um, so, you know, that's one thing I got to double check on. Was it because the, they have a patent on these PEMF devices and glasses? Maybe that's why IRMRS didn't do that. It's possible. I actually don't know that. Uh, it could be likely. Um, and or it was just too complicated to yeah, copy QRS or something like that. But what you want is the actual PEMF signal uh, to go into the eyes, uh, which is what this does. These are the only goggles or glasses I know. Uh, so this is a great uh, pre-therapy. <laughs> therapy is probably FDA banned too. Um, but uh, it's a pre-therapy, let's just use that word for now, uh, for doing hydrogen therapy. Hydrogen gas inhalation and water has 1,000 plus studies peer reviewed. Probably is going to be the next biggest thing being researched. The studies are already incredible. Hydrogen ions are, I'll put a presentation below in the video. It's so impressive. It, it's pretty much like rivaling any modality I know. Um, very affordable in retrospect to what it can do here. $2,000 machine. Then you get the attachment. So let's say you're dealing with eyes or even brain for that matter. Hydrogen just passes, by the way, through any material. So it goes right into your brain, goes right into your eyes, goes into every cell, goes into the mitochondria, goes into the bone in seconds. It's going everywhere. And once you learn more, I can send you a book. I can send you an amazing presentation, which is below in the video. Studies. Once you learn more, you just it'll, you'll, it'll totally click. Wow. No wonder this is so therapeutic. Of course it's therapeutic for any cells in the eye, any eye condition. Um, so this, you'd want to get the eye mask attachment. Looks like a, a snorkel. <laughs> uh, so this is the eye goggles, and it just connects. See the tube here? And so the hydrogen gas goes through here. And then you just leave this on as long as you want. I'd say at least 30 minutes twice a day. The longer, generally, the better in terms of speeding up the healing process. You'd also want to drink the hydrogen water. You'd want to breathe it as well through the nose cannula to get the whole systemic effect. Eye conditions are not necessarily isolated unless you got a specific injury to the eye. Then it's like, of course, it's more localized. But when you look at causal factors, like if you have a major eye condition, usually brain's affected. Usually the brain even firstly before the eye condition manifests. If you have a brain condition, well, why is the brain happening there? Was it a localized brain trauma? Usually, again, you're back to something systemic happening. That's why you want to do systemic therapies as well. Like you may want to do PEMF on your whole body or a whole oxygen type of therapy, which I can guide you on for your whole body. Or you want to do the hydrogen on your whole body in addition to the localized types of therapies, which I've highlighted in this video. You always want to kind of address things systemically because everything is interconnected. You want your whole immune system basically to support the healing, I'm not supposed to use that word either, of your eyes. <laughs> so basically, yeah, use the, the, the goggle thing here too. And then that basically is the ultimate synergy combination for doing this. If you have any questions about this, you can leave your comments below in my video.